Hey YouTube, uh, I'm Shibumi Jones. Thanks for joining my channel. Today we're gonna make octopus. Typically when you go to a fish market, um, they will have either Spanish or Portuguese octopus. That's the best one to cook with in my opinion. They also have the, the better, more sustainable fishing records as opposed to Vietnam and some of the other Asian countries. Just look for whole octopus. Uh, it's gonna be frozen. This was previously frozen and that's totally fine. It's, it's still gonna be delicious when you cook it. Typically they freeze them out at sea and they do a lot of the cleaning work, cutting out the beak and things like that. First we're going to blanch the octopus to tighten the skin and get a nice little curl in the tentacles then we're going to vacuum bag it we're going to sous vide it for five hours at 175 and then we're going to let it cool in an ice bath followed by crisping it up on the grill vacuum seal this octopus. We're not gonna add any salt or water to it. This octopus came to us perfectly seasoned as far as the sous vide is concerned. So we're gonna put it in here um, with nothing but itself. The octopus has lived its whole life in salt water. It's, it's got enough of that going on. We don't wanna over salt it. It's very delicate, very mild flavor, so we just don't want to overpower it. We want to be very gentle with the seasoning at first, and then when we crisp it up, we can you know, add lemon and, and sea salt and things of that nature. Uh, we're not gonna add any, we're not gonna add any water or sauces as well in here because the octopus, again, lived its whole life in water. So every step of the way of what we've been doing here, it's been secreting more and more water, losing more and more water. So it's gonna have enough juices to cook in its own juices. I'm gonna vacuum seal the tentacles, probably four in each bag. And I'm also going, going to sous vide the head. I don't know yet, you know, what I'm going to do with the head. I'll experiment with it.
all our mise en place and now we are ready to plate this dish. First we have some fleur de sel sea salt followed by the crispy grilled octopus tentacles. We have fresh lemon to squeeze over the octopus. We have some fresh shaved fennel. We have some fennel fronds in water. We have three different types of segments. We have orange segments, we have Meyer lemon segments, and we have blood orange segments. We have handmade zest of Meyer lemon and we have handmade zest of navel orange. We have our citronette dressing. We also have some baby arugula. And we have a few different plating tools that we're gonna need for this dish. So there's yellow tape I'm noticing on, on all my tools. Why is there yellow tape on my tools? Uh, well, this, I'll give you the short answer. When, when you work in a, a kitchen, everybody has to label their tools basically, otherwise you know things get mixed up and, and lost. So uh, I chose the color yellow because, because I'm the yellow ranger from Power Rangers. Growing up, I, I was born in 86, so growing up I watched Power Rangers um, with my sister and cousin, and um, I was the yellow ranger, my sister was the pink ranger, my cousin, he was the Red Ranger, so that's actually why I did choose yellow. I'm the Yellow Ranger.
have all of our mise en place, so we're ready to plate the second version of this dish. First, we have fresh lemon, which we're gonna squeeze over the octopus tentacles. We're also gonna use some of the fleur de sel to season the octopus. The octopus has really, really mild flavor, so it needs a lot of acid and salt. Then we have our saffron aioli, followed by our potatoes roasted in herbs de Provence, some fennel fronds in water for garnish, three types of olives, the Kalamata, the Castle Vetrano, and the Cerignola. We also have caper berries that I've cut in half. We have our sauteed red onions, deglazed with red wine vinegar. We have our green herb oil, and we also have some olive oil for garnish.